something told me, my spirit told me to. Previously on. Not my flight, not my business. You're gonna, you're gonna have to wait. I'm on a phone call. Backpacking in the wilderness. Hey crew, welcome back to my channel for another flight attendant vlog. For those of you who are new, my name is Bridgette. I'm a New York City based flight attendant and we are going back to work. I am working a two day trip today. Um, it is 1241 and I'm waiting for my transportation to the airport. So already this morning I was called twice by crew scheduling to have my report time changed twice one push back two hours and then the second one back to the original report time it is storming outside so this shall be an interesting commute i don't know if i said it was a two-day trip but i am flying lead unfortunately and yeah i think that's it can't think of anything else so i'll see you guys in the next clip hey crew so it hasn't been that much time since i last spoke to you and you're probably wondering why am i still home well as I was making my way to the airport, you know, something told me, my spirit told me to check to see where the aircraft is because it's raining outside, if there's lightning, if you guys did not know, they closed the ramp down for the safety of the ramp agents and everyone who's out on the tarmac. So I didn't, I was just curious to see if the flight took off, if it was already on the ground, if it was still in its previous airport and on the app that i use it said the flight was canceled but when i looked at my airlines app it still said on time so i was very confused as to what was happening so i let it refresh again and sure enough the flight is canceled so i had to call my airline to let them know that you know my commuting flight is canceled and you're probably wondering well why don't you take the next flight out I'm a person who, you know, always has plan A, plan B, plan C, all the way to Z. And my second choice from another airport canceled. The flight right after my flight that I was going to take is not on my airline. And it had three seats and five people on the standby list, which would make me six. And the flight after that, also not on my airline, had zero seats and three people on the standby list which would have made me four so i had my options but you know obviously that wasn't going to work um and then the next flight on my airline to laguardia was going to get in at takeoff time or departure time so that obviously did not work um i'm not sure what's going to happen as far as if this is going to be an occurrence Occurrence is basically something that counts against you that goes on your file. So I'll try and keep you guys updated as to what happens. Being a commuter is hard. I try not to paint the picture that it is an easy job. I understand it's my responsibility to get to work early, which is on time. But, you know, things happen and I have to roll with the punches. I have to deal with the consequences. So that's just a, a little honesty moment for you guys. Um... I don't know where this vlog is going to go. After this two-day trip that I was supposed to work, I had one day off and then on-call days. So maybe I'll just pair this all together with on-call days and we'll see what happens. But that's about it. Hey, crew. So it is two days later. I am in JFK. Um, I don't know if I told you guys when I last spoke to you with the failed commuting that I had on-call days. But if I didn't, I have on-call days. I got Dublin. This is my first time going. And I'm not galley, so that's my quick update for you guys. The plane, I think, just got in. So I'm trying to get on the plane and get situated, and I'll speak to you guys in the next clip.
such a dry entry or intro I should say I am exhausted you guys I have finally made it to Dublin it is 12.03 we were delayed late all of the above and now I'm gonna take a nap and supposed to meet up with another crew member before I mean after my nap but I wanted to come on and speak to you guys before I went to sleep so that's what I'm doing right now um, when I get a nap in I won't be as delirious and I'll be able to have a coherent conversation with you and give you guys a crew briefing on everything that happened so I'll see you guys in the next clip Hey crew, it is many, many, many hours later. Excuse me, I was supposed to meet up with one of my crew members, but um, she never contacted me. And during the flight, I felt myself starting to develop a headache, I'm sorry, a migraine, which I took my medicine to try and combat it. But once I got here, it started to get worse. So, I ordered myself something from Deliveroo, which is kind of like equivalent to Uber Eats or DoorDash. Because I haven't heard from the crew member. It is like 7.36 p.m. Um, I slept for a long while, which hopefully that doesn't affect me sleeping this evening. I got a gyro or gyro. I still don't know to this day how to pronounce that. And they're chips. AKA fries. Actually tastes like chips. That's a first. Um, I wanted to come on and do a crew debriefing of the flight, but just give me one second. These are supposed to be some type of spring roll, which I thought was interesting. And here is my Euro Gero. I know I'm butchering that name. <laughs> and Fanta. so initially this flight was supposed to be empty excuse me I'm talking about 60 people total on the plane empty but the next morning when I got up it was 100% full so I was curious as to what happened because like I was saying, I was curious as to what happened because <laughs> how do we go up 200 and plus passengers in a night? Not bad. So when we got to briefing, one of the flight attendants let us know that the flight the night prior canceled. So that's where all the passengers came from, which then that made sense. We were delayed leaving New York because our plane was on the ground but it was in the hangar and it took a while for them to bring it so as you guys know on international flights we get a break and that's called crew rest now depending on the aircraft depends on where the crew rest is located and on this aircraft during boarding a passenger comes up to me and he's like that's not the bathroom and i'm like excuse me he's like that's not the bathroom so i asked him what he was referring to somehow I guess when one of the flight attendants went to go check the crew rest bunk, she didn't close the door all the way. So when he was looking for the bathroom, the door was ajar 
and he opened the door and was about to step down and I was like oh no sir that's not the bathroom he was like oh well can I go there during the flight and I said if you want to get in serious trouble and he was like oh no 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 trouble for me other than that even with the passengers being extremely delayed with the cancellation the prior night everyone was very nice if I didn't just say because I can't remember I didn't end up going out because of my migraine. I was supposed to wake up earlier, but when I tried to get up, my head was pounding. So, no exploring this layover, but I am supposed to come back in June. So, I'll definitely explore that. That's about it. I'm going to finish eating my food, and I'll probably speak to you guys later. So, see you in the next clip. Hey crew, so it is future me, and as I was editing this vlog, I noticed that I did not come back and speak to you from being in the hotel in Dublin, meaning that I didn't speak to you in the morning before going back to New York. Only problem with that is it's been a few days, and when I mean a few days, a lot of days, and I cannot remember what happened on that flight. But I wanted to come back and, you know, close out the vlog. Um and apologize because typically we have our crew debriefing at the end of each flight or each day to let you guys know what happened so next time i will try and be better but if you've made it to the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching and as always stay safe and see you soon